Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for Panners Bingo. This is a Pantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Kana. And for this project, Kana put together five bingo cards and calls five numbers every month and has prompts for all the bingo call numbers. And we try to hit bingo. And I am trying to get all the bingos. So horizontal, vertical, diagonal, and then eventually blackout bingo. So I'm going to start with sharing what I was working on, the call numbers I was working on, and the products. I do have one item that can roll out. And then I will share with you the call numbers that were called and that are on my board. And then we'll talk about what I'm going to be bringing in for those prompts. So I do, like I said, I have two numbers that are on my board. So I'm going to scooch over, and I'm sorry, but we're probably going to have the board over Milo. Sorry, Milo. Here's my board. This was as of the end of last update. And I'm going to pull it up on my phone so I can see it. Now, just as an FYI, the call numbers or the bingo numbers that are in blue, those are my strategy numbers. I'm not working on any, any strategy numbers now, but I had been. So those are numbers that I had worked on previously and finished or met my goal on. And so I've been waiting for those to be called. So those are, that's an FYI. So the one item I didn't meet my goal on is for I-18. And that prompt was lip gloss. That is not this product. <laughs> and for that, I rolled in the Dose of Colors Lip Gloss in Messy Bun. It's this one here. This is gorgeous. I wanted to use this 20 times. Last month I was at 18. So I just had to use it two more times between now, between then and now, and I did hit that goal. This is so pretty, so pretty. Oh, I love this gloss. And I did start to see some windowing, which is really exciting. Barely, it's like right there. You can start to see some windowing. So that's after 20 uses. And I, I'd used this a little bit before, like maybe 10 uses before. It's anyway, I'm glad to see some windowing so that this is rolling out. So I can now put a daub in I-18. I have three other call numbers I'm working on. So for B4, that prompt is matte. And I have this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Petal Pusher. And my goal is to hit pan. So you can see I am really close. At least I feel like I'm really close. I mean, there's, there's a big old dip in here. Mm, I feel like I showed it better the last time. Yeah, there's a big old dip, big old dip. I'm not from Texas. Anyway, I feel, I mean, I use this fairly regularly. It's typically the second shade in my crease after a, the Kat Von D quad. There's a shade in there I use as my first transition shade. And this is usually my second transition shade if I'm using like these tones and I freaking love it. I also like to mix this with the Franken shades in my Pan That palette because it helps tone down any orange tones. It's just, it's a beautiful shadow. But I do think I'm gonna hit Pan in this by the time we do this update next month, which is very exciting. The next number is G56 and that prompt was five samples. So I went into my, my little bag of 100 colorful empties and pulled out five like sample, deluxe size sampled items that are in there. The first one I have is from Dr. Dennis Gross and that is the Alpha Beta Extra da Strength Daily Peels. There's five in here. I think Kana commented on my video. She said, you could have just done these. Sure, but that would have been so easy. Well, I guess not because I only used two of these. Well, I should say I used three total pads because I, I had one that was in my turn and burn project. So I have used three of these, but only two came from this five pack. So I still have three of these to go. I also brought in this Clarins Hydrating Gentle Foaming Cleanser. So I'm still working on it. I'm about halfway done with this. This was pretty full when I originally brought it in. Yeah, so I'm about down to here. And this is actually a pretty decent cleanser. I don't mind it. I don't think I would buy a full size. Actually, I think I'm more than halfway. I'm more like here. 
I don't think I would buy a full size just because it's still a foaming cleanser and they're not my favorite, but it's a pretty decent hydrating, you know, foaming cleanser. Next I have from Drunk Elephant, the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. So I am using this pretty regularly to mix with my moisturizer. I have no idea how much is left in here because you can't really see through the packaging, but I am using it. And I have the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream. I haven't touched this. I put it in my travel bag and then I didn't end up needing it. Yeah, I haven't even opened it. So haven't touched this yet. I am working on a cream in my Drop Time Before Summer project and I really want to finish that because that project ends in June and that's a really large amount of lotion I'm still trying to work through. There's I mean, I'm, I've got like a third of the bottle left, but I just, I, I'm just focused, hyper-focused on it. And then I think I'll pull this in unless I use this during my travel. I have a couple of work trips coming up. And the last one, I did finish this. This is the Decorte Hydration Boosting Serum. So I did finish this just like last, recently over the last couple of days. And this was nice. It's not a repurchase for me, I don't think. I don't know if I saw it somewhere I may consider picking up because it was actually a pretty decent hydrating serum I actually enjoyed using it I liked the consistency I thought it was nice so if I saw it somewhere for sale because I this came in my look fantastic box advent calendar no I'm sorry it didn't come in the advent calendar it came as a sample with the advent calendar so I think you can buy this from probably Derm Store or Skin, one of those. Like you can't, I've never seen this at Sephora or Ulta or anything like that. Anyway, if I saw it somewhere, I may pick it up, but I would not look for it, if that makes sense. <laughs> so this one's done. So I have four out of the five samples left. And then the last prompt I'm working on, the last call number I'm working on is 069, and that is favorite movie. And I chose The Big Lebowski, one of the best movies ever. And I brought in the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in the shade White Russian. <laughs> so I want to use this 20 times. So far, I've only used it four. So I still have 16 uses to go. This is a really nice everyday gloss and... I do enjoy it. I actually like to use it as a topper on some drying lip, lip lipsticks and also to brighten or lighten some things up. So I've used it for that purpose too. I really do enjoy it. It's really nice, but still have a little bit, little ways to go on that one. So those are the prompts I'm working on right now. So the two numbers that Kana called that are on my board are 065 and N36. So if you look at my board, you can see that I've actually already completed the product for the prompt 065. And that was, the prompt for that is limited edition or discontinued item. And I brought in the Becca Luster Glow Powder in Pearl Glow. I don't think I spelled that right or said that right, but that's what it was. Beautiful highlighter. I'd wanted to use that 20 times and I did. So that prompt is done, which means I have bingo. I have bingo. Horizontal bingo. I have bingo. Yay me. <laughs> which is very exciting. Now I almost have vertical bingo as well. So it was almost a double whammy, but I still need to hit my goal on the gloss for 069, the buxom. So maybe I can hit that goal next month. Very exciting. So now I just need, you know what? I may bring in something for B9. Maybe that's a strategic number for me because that'll be my diagonal. Or she needs to call B11 and G55 because I've already completed those. But I may bring in B9 just in case. I don't even know what that prompt is. Um, I may have to think about that. Okay, anyway. So that's where we are. I have bingo. 
And let me talk about what the prompt is for N36. So that is nude lipstick. So I went rooting around in my collection and kind of swatched several lipsticks and decided to bring in this lipstick from Ulta Beauty. And this is in the shade Pink Chocolate. Now, I don't know what type of lipstick this is. Let me see if I can look in my inventory and see if it has like a type of formula because it doesn't say it on the bottom. It just says the shade number. It just says nude lipstick is what they marketed this as. So perfect. This is a gorgeous color. I do have it on my lips right now, but I have it on top of something else I was wearing earlier, which it turned out beautiful. I freaking love it. I love this color. I'm so glad I'm bringing this in. This is stunning. Uh, so I want to use this because I love this so much. I want to use this 20 times. So 20 uses on this. Gorgeous. Okay, let me go see what B9 is. Hmm. Maybe I will bring a strategic item in. I shouldn't because I already have too many things I'm working on, but I may change my mind. Let's see. Unique. Oh, that's a hard prompt. Well, I could bring an indie shadow in. It's the first thing I think of. I have figured out what I'm going to bring in. I am going to bring in an indie shadow. And this is by Davina. It is the shade Sweet Slush. And this is like a multi-chrome topper shade. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. I'm swatching it over a wet, like a wet base. So it's definitely more on the sheer side, but I think it'll be a really pretty topper. It definitely has a beautiful flip. Oh my goodness. So I've really been enjoying shades like this lately. If there's a shade, like a look on my lids that I don't love, I like to use something like this to like snazz it up, you know? Not that I don't love what's going on in my eyes, but let's just see what happens. Hmm? Makeup playtime. Only because I was playing with a palette today and it, like the shadow I was using on the inner part of my eye totally did not do what I thought it was going to do. So I'm just curious. Just add something. <laughs> yeah, I've really been enjoying shadows like this. So I want to use this 10 times. Mm, I love it. Okay. So again, that is Davina's Sweet Slush. Yay. Okay. So we're bringing in one strategy item and then, or prompt, and then one called number. And these are the... Look at my color story for this project. How funny. And we get Milo back. And he's sneezing. So that is going to be my update for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you, Kana, for such a fun project. I'm so excited that I'm still continuing this. Even though I've hit bingo, I don't care. Because I'm really enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Look at Milo. <laughs> okay, so the first number I have been working on is, well, actually, let me share with you the one. So the one item I can like, Wow. So the prompt for 069, wait, did I do that right? 036 and no. Okay, bye.